So I don't know if you guys remember, but at the beginning of the season, on my first episode, I got lost. And when I say lost, I mean lost. And... While I was lost, I was up in the mountains, right? And I ended up building a little shack slash cave in the side of a hill to sleep in. I have been searching for a few minutes now. And by looking back at the video... No way! Oh my god! Oh, that's great! <laughs> Yo! Look at that! It's still got the door in place. It's got nothing inside, though. I thought I left some resources here. Oh my gosh! It's great! Oh, you can't- I've been searching for this for so long, and the funny thing of it is, it's been right under my nose. Because I don't know if you noticed, but there's Adrian's sugarcane farm, which means my birch house is just out of render distance right now. Oh man, that's great! Ah, oh, that's perfect! Ah, oh, dang man, hold on. We're spending the night here. Hold on. Yo! Alright, I probably sound stupid because I'm so excited about this, but... That's just so great! Oh, that's absolutely amazing! Oh! Shoot, bro, that's great! Okay, I'm gonna shut up now and do the intro. Minecraft. Hello there, everyone. This guy's Airlayer, and today we are back on Season 2 of Unknown Empire. And I am just in awe of the fact... Uh, well, it, it's super close to the base, like... The birch house is just out of render distance, but... Man... This is from the first episode, something that I've been searching for for so long. And I finally did it today. The last day... <laughs> the last day of 2019. And I find this. Well, actually, for me, it's uh, Sunday. But this video is going up on Tuesday. Oh, wow. That's great. I'm absolutely loving this. I, I, think, I think we're going to do something with this sometime soon enough. But, man. That's absolutely great. I'm leaving this bed here. I'm leaving some stuff here. I'm going to drop a couple of torches. Well, not one out here because it'll melt the, sn melt the snow. But I'm going to drop a torch down. And, wow. In case you can tell, this is a special episode today. We're going to be taking a look back on everything I've done on the server so far. Because basically, I've been here for a year now. Uh, basically, all of 2019. And... We're going to look back on the year and reflect on everything. And this is exactly where we should start the first episode. In fact, the, I think this ha I think this is done in like the first five or six minutes of the first episode. That's great. 
Oh man, so we're gonna head back to the base, uh, and we'll start uh, just going around the server. And basically, I'm gonna talk about uh, certain builds and the events behind them, and uh, why they're why they're why they are special. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing this off of sheer memory, uh, because I feel like. It's the greatest moments. Uh, the only moments that deserve to be brought up are the ones great enough to be remembered to this day. Let's not kill ourselves, shall we? Alright. Man, that's great. I'm absolutely loving this right now. Alright, so moving on from our little thing we did in our first episode... Here we see what happened sort of in our second episode and was our original starter house. Uh, our original thing in the side of the hill. Uh, this is Zayer's temporary base. And yes, very temporary. Uh, as you can see, I got with that mine going down right there. And, uh, I was here for a little while before I ever moved into my first house of in Etchland. And in fact, uh, this area over here, this is basically Etchland still. This forest I plan to build in right here, uh, this is Etchland, kind of. The original mound house that I was going to build for Etchland was actually going to be somewhere in here, and I'm pretty sure I remember marking this spot uh, somewhere around in here as very possibly a spot. And as you can see, a creeper hole, because I started not, I started before creepers were given the tag to, or whatever you call it, to not do any explosion damage. Like, they still technically explode, but their explosion damage is literally, I think, zero. So, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Looking back on this, the original mine was going to go into the side of the mountain over there. And, yeah, in fact, actually, right now... uh. One of them, excuse me, one of the next projects uh, that I'm doing is actually going to be a tree farm in this general area for all of the tree types. So that'll be pretty cool to kind of build back here once again and remember where I was originally going to start. Uh, one of the big reasons that I didn't do it right here was because of how far it felt from civilization. Like, right now, it takes me, like, a minute to get over here. I just have to go over this hill over here. But, uh, back then, when I was still kind of new to the server, this felt like it was so far away. Like, I felt like I was miles away from Waypoint. Like, everything seemed so far away. And then I realized the true extent and scale of the server like it's massive and now it feels a little bit smaller than it did way back then when I first realized how massive it was because I've learned it a little bit more and it's definitely been a journey but as you can see here this is the first build I did on the server this doesn't look the same this used to look a little bit different all you have to do is go back a couple episodes and this looks uh, the way it used to, but I changed this in the last episode. Also, yesterday's live stream, we finished the path. Uh, so let's let's just head on in here. So as you can see, this was the original storage area. I actually dropped some stuff off here during the live stream uh, while I was working on the path because my inventory got too cluttered. But here's our bed. Let's actually go ahead and sleep here. Uh, I do believe we might have some stone in the... Oh, Dark joined the game, apparently. Never mind, let's not sleep. Uh, as you can see, we have some stone in here, apparently. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah. Uh, this... This, uh, yeah. We kind of, like, over time have removed the need for a lot of the things here, like... 
Well, actually, just this. <laughs> uh, no, we also had a mine uh, in this wall, I believe. Yeah, there you go. There's our mine. Uh, we often encounter the remnants, the underground tunnels of that uh, while we're mining in our official mine. Here's our auto smelter. We did build a more advanced auto smelter at one point in time down in Lower Etchen. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, but I, uh, it didn't work very well, so I tore it out, and I'm going to be rebuilding it in Vraid this time. Uh, this is also my Thieves Medallion. I forget exactly when I got this. I think it was like within my first five episodes of being on the server. I got this because I ended up joining the Thieves Guild. Uh, and last episode, if you watched that, you saw that I did my room finally for the Thieves Guild. That's a whole other topic. Watch that video if you want to know stuff about that. So the next decent sized thing we actually built on the server is this. This is Vraid. This is where Vraid started. Uh, I started Etchland and then I came down here and discovered this area of land. I wasn't sure what I was doing yet and I just had an idea for this. I was kind of inspired by some stuff going on at Hermitcraft at the time. So I decided what the heck, let's start another town since it seems like this is like, there's towns on the server. So, well, I'm, yeah, the whole having to build two towns thing is kind of weird. Uh, and I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to get Vraid built before the season ends, as well as Etchland. But anyways, this is our storage facility. <laughs> and... I don't know if you notice it, but up there, uh, there's a spruce wood thing right there. I don't know if you can tell, but originally I was trying to make a Z sort of thing up there, but it kind of still looks like a Z, but it kind of just looks cool, and it's like a logo thing, I guess. I'm not sure, but I remember building that, and I haven't really worked with the fact that I wanted to make that logo for a uh, sort of industry I was doing since this is an industrial warehouse uh, anyways in here it's gotten <laughs> disorganized mm, I you know uh, this is supposed to be for decorations uh, I, I'm not sure how well rotten flesh is gonna look on a nightstand or something <laughs> phantom membrane okay that's a that's a decoration right there that is one heck of a decoration choice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, these chests even have stuff in them. Too. Wow, that's actually... Mm. <laughs> that's legitimate resources. The, I, I have torches in here. When it comes to thing like that, things like that, I'm losing them all the time. Hey, dark's back on. It's not even the same time of day that this part of the video is being recorded. We'll say hi. Zare layer. Yeah, that's kind of a joke from the last live yesterday's live stream actually. Uh so the next thing we really started, at least started building on the server here was up here. Now this is getting removed as well because this is the old pathway design around Etchland. Going around Etchland. And this was and I'm not sure what I was thinking when I built this. Really not, but anyways, this this takes you up to where the old uh, auto smelter used to be. Yeah, that. <laughs> My original auto smelter. Now, I still need to rebuild one, but now, now it's just, it's got this because I didn't realize that you could, well, how, do, how do you power this thing? Oh, you do that and it lags. So let's not do that. And now we got rails. It's a rail duplicator. Because why not? Adrian showed it to me. If that's against the laws on this server, well, uh, blame one of the admins for it. Bl uh, blame Adrian. <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving on. Uh, there's a creeper over there. Glad they can't explode. Uh, so the next thing we built, huh, it's not in the base. I mean, come on. What what else uh, would it would it have been? It, it's Wellspire. Well, not all of it. The the 
uh, about like one third to one half of it. <laughs> uh, I am the one that actually built these random boat docks all over the place. So it was like one, well, I didn't build anything there. I just dropped a boat down uh, and connected this to that. Anyways, this is Wellspire. Uh, in fact, everything from there onward, except for that, is mine. <laughs> I built all of this, and it's actually, it's cool. I love it. It turned out great. Uh, we got our little stream coming down up off the mountain. That that was actually not a uh, map thing. That wasn't here with the map. That That's actually something I made. Uh, this is well spire. As you can see, the wells and the spire. Yeah, I was here when this... This is the first town that I saw founded. It's uh, one of two, actually. Uh, so... Yeah, we have our little resort here, our little uh, Viking cabin, if you will, medieval cabin or whatever, I don't know. Uh, originally, this is going to be the master bedroom type deal, but then I had the idea to do these pathways around the area, and I, and I don't know. It's still kind of a weird design, but at the same time, I love it. Because this build screams character. The roof could be a bit better on that thing. That looks hanky-janky. But uh, anyways, uh, heading up here, we have our Outlook Pathways sort of thing. So we can come up here and we can see a very great shot. Of, uh, I almost called it Raid, then I almost called it Etchland. No, it's Wellspire. <laughs> uh, and then we like... As you can see, we can look over here to this area, and we head up here. We have another great view right here of the town. Probably my favorite because you got the waterfall right here. You can actually touch it. Okay, let's not touch it. <laughs> and you can head up here, and you just got a spectacular high up view. You know, see a bit in this direction. That's great. So. Moving on from here. So returning up here to Etchland, we have our mines. I'm not sure exactly the order of events from here, uh, but I know somewhere in there this thing got built. This is our mine. Uh, it is getting renovated in the next episode, actually, so be looking out for that. Uh, down here, however... We have our minecart, which takes us all the way down to the bottom. So let's actually head down here. Uh, this took a while, to say the least, to build. Um, it may not seem like it for multiple reasons, but at the same time, uh, all this wood took forever to gather. And to mine it out as well, and the fact that this part exists was just a pain to build. This wasn't really an easy task, and I'm already like, it could be improved, but who's going to really see the underside of this? Like, really? Oh, you could see where I was mining out some coal over there. Yeah. Coal spawns, like, up on the roof of this thing, and I'm I, that's not worth my time. <laughs> uh, to get that coal, it is not worth my time. So, well, the weird thing, in case you're wondering why, that's, why coal is special, uh, it's because it doesn't spawn very regularly on the server. Uh, in fact, pretty soon, I'm going to be building tree farm, I think I already mentioned that in the video, I'm going to be building a tree farm, and I'll be using charcoal instead. So, yeah, moving on. Again, I'm not sure if this was the next thing in order, since I'm not really looking back at any videos for this. Uh, this is the Birch Nether Portal house, and it's a decent sized house that still needs some touch-ups a little bit of an in, uh, a little bit of an interior sorry as well as a little bit of exterior work 
And by a little, I mean a lot. It needs a lot. Anyways, there's our dog Ryan with his uh, black collar for literally no reason. I believe this is uh, Reese's. Uh, I believe that's Adrian's horse. And these rooms are all basically empty except for this one with my nether portal. What's sad, however, is that I don't know if I put emphasis enough on the word need. But that doesn't mean I'm going to. Because I've been just thinking it over. And I feel like for moving forward with Vraid and Echlin and stuff. But mainly Vraid. This is way out of scale. Currently, the idea is that two to three, maybe even four future uh, Vraid houses could fit within this area. So, yeah, it's, it's out of scale. By far. And it also, it even cut back into this mountain, which I didn't think it would. But, uh, I think we're gonna end up tearing it down, sadly. It took a lot of work to, uh, well, not that much, to get to this point. But I just, I, I don't really got any ideas for it. And it's really taking away from a lot of the ideas I have for Vraid. Because originally... Uh, back in the day, Vraid was going to be centralized down there, mainly in front of the sugarcane farm, and even on the other side of that hill you see over there, uh, going very much towards Waypoint. But I want to pull it back from that and really situate the central area of town right here where this house is at, and have like a lot of residential area just stacked up over here and I do want to push it back pretty far in this direction uh, with roads that lead to how it's gonna be a little bit sparsely it's gonna be a little bit sparse uh, I would say like a house there and then a little bit over here a house there and like a road in between or whatever something like that uh, nothing like really packed it's it's not going to be really dense uh, but over here, as you can see, I love this uh, little stream that heads through here. I think it's just amazing, and I want to build something around it. But I'm not sure what yet, but it will be Vraid involved because, I don't know, I, th I feel like, yeah, this could be an Etchland area too. And I mean, I guess it could really just be an Etchland area. But in, in terms of where everything's at, it might make more sense to make it a... Uh, Vraid area. And I might even like push the town back to like over there towards there and across this thing and maybe Etchlin be up on the hill, but I'm not sure. That's just a little bit of me just throwing out random ideas that I've passed by but I really got to. So yeah. That is basically almost the base done. There's one more area I want to look at before moving on to our final two areas. And that is right over here. This is the sugarcane farm. Currently my favorite build in the entire base because it looks so gosh darn good. I really think I aced the terraforming on this one with the path and the rocks and stuff and getting that submersive feel back here with the bushes and this rock that kind of dips into the ground got the flowers a patch of mushrooms over here which just kind of like breaks up the whole monotony of the flowers and you come over here you sort of get a more open area as you enter this area i'm gonna build a smaller warehouse next to this one right here uh kind of covering up this uh hideous patch here when I keep forgetting that um, spruce, tall spruce trees now make uh, that type of stuff. And I forgot it again right here. And as you can see, I tried to prevent it 
But uh, putting it on top of something above the ground didn't work apparently, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the base. Uh, a little bit of talk about my plans. Uh, I want to have it generally somewhat on the more finished side by the end of January of this next year, but I don't know. It, Echelon's definitely going to take a while given how long it took me to build that path through the woods, but at the same time, I don't think it'll be too absolutely terrible. Then again, I'm not sure. So let's go to our next location. This was actually a fairly recent event taking place on Thanksgiving, and that's new. That's a lot of new track. Holy crap. Okay, that's new. <laughs> Stuff's been built, apparently. Uh, and that's... In that's that's a chicken. Kind of looks like some form of a Christmas decoration at first. Well, what are you doing? Anyways, this is Traveler's Landing, the Wild West. Because, you know, medieval-themed server, we're like, huh, oh, what, what should we build? Uh, I got it. Wild West. Perfect. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, this happened on Thanksgiving night, but was still being uploaded as of a few weeks ago since I got, like, four episodes worth of footage from that night. Uh, so, yeah. It, uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, this is Kento's build, Minnie's house. I think this is being built by DJ. It'll make kind of sense. I'm not sure. Uh, I do believe this was... What? Who built this? Wait, who built this? <laughs> who built this? I don't know who built this. I, I, well, I watched their video on this, but I don't remember who they were. And I'm so sorry to that person. I'm being forgetful during this video. This is another build of minis, the Mancino Clan uh, Traveler's Landing Branch. Uh, I think Dark built that. Um, yeah, no, Dark Dark definitely built that, uh, the area around the portal. Uh, no, I don't have a clue who built this. Corv, Captain Corv is building this. I built the archway into town, and I'm also building this house over here up on the hill, because, you know... Good old me, building stuff like super far away, and you know, that, well here I like got no neighbors <laughs> for like a mile across town, but uh, I ended up like getting all up in Adrian's business kind of with my base, so yeah, it's great, I don't know, I, I don't think he minds with the whole base thing, but I did kind of like just kind of barge in next to him with my base. Anyways, that's our Traveler's Landing House, and let's head back to the base. So before I end off this half an hour or so video, because, you know, I'm great at time management skills when it comes to recording stuff. Sorry about the long video. Uh, just one more thing I'd like to touch on. Unknown Empire completely change the channel over the course of this past year uh it brought it back kind of in many ways uh and i've made friends here i can't imagine anytime soon at all or even in the near slash distant future ever thinking even thinking about leaving because this is actually a lot of fun. Until this, I did not know there were small SMPs out there. I knew it was a possibility, and I was thinking about making one myself, but I didn't know that they were here to this extent. 
And in case you're wondering, no, this is not the only SMP out there for YouTubers of similar sizes to myself. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I'm kind of not happy with the fact that I have to go through and fix some of the inconsistencies with my base, I guess. I don't know. I was getting lazy with my base on here and just my building on the server in general after a while. So I'm going to change that and that's what I'm doing in the past, in the last video, or last video on the server I should say as well as what I'm going to be doing in the next few videos, aka basically next month, is just trying to rework my base, really, and get it to a point where I like it. Now we're getting onto a conversation that could be its own video in general. Actually, that's a great idea. We will talk about this a little bit on in Saturday's video, but my best guess is that we'll probably talk about this subject more in depth on Sunday. So, yeah, that'll also be next year. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching the video. If you've made it to this point, thank you. Because watching the videos, not just clicking on it for a few seconds and leaving... Watching them actually helps the channel, and, you know, if you want to help out more, like down below, subscribe, comment what you liked or what you didn't like about the video. That helps me out a ton with being a YouTuber. Anyways, guys, just thank you for sticking around for the video, and thank you to those of you who have stuck around for the year of 2019. I'll see you guys next decade. Links down in the description below as well. And uh, yeah, happy new year and stuff because I will, I might see you tomorrow. For, that was a fail for a live stream, either on the server or in the creative world. Probably on the server. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time, next decade next year. Tomorrow? Nah, I don't know what to call it. Next decade. We'll roll with that.